Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, which is a follow-on from a previous video, uh, where the, in the previous video we generated a formula for simple interest or for the future value of an account uh, where interest is applied based on a simple interest method. Uh, this short video is going to look at a simple interest calculation. Okay, so let's just keep in mind that our formula is the future value is equal to the principal value times 1 plus ti, uh, where I suppose fv represents the future value of the account, so that's our future value, pv represents the principal value of the account, principal value, i represents the interest rate interest rate and t represents the number of years okay or how many years have elapsed okay so let's look at a simple example uh, let's say uh, let's say 1200 euros okay uh, is invested in an account okay uh, that accumulates that accumulates interest okay, okay uh, based based on a simple interest method simple interest interest method okay okay and the principal okay the principal is invested is invested for let's say is invested for four years okay at at let's say 7.5% simple interest okay simple interest and the question that we have is what is the future value the future value of the investment of the investment okay so I suppose the first thing that we should probably do is to identify from from our from our description or from our narrative or from our scenario uh, all of the parameters that we have. Okay, uh, this is actually a T here. Probably doesn't look like a T, but it should be a T. Okay, so let's just write down all of our parameters. There's FV, FV. There's PV. There's T, and there's I. Okay. There's T and there's I. Uh, what we know from our scenario is that 1,200 euros is invested in an account. Uh, so that 1,200 euros is our principal value. So that's 1,200. Uh, the account accumulates interest based on a simple interest method. So that's important for us so that we know that we're using the simple interest formula. Uh, but the principal is invested for four years. So T is equal to four. And more importantly, it's invested at 7.5% simple interest. Uh, now, what's important is that we convert our percentage into a decimal representation by simply dividing by 100. So this represents I, our interest rate, is 0 0.075. And the question is, what is the future value okay, of this investment? So using our formula, we know that the future value, which is equal to the principal value times 1 plus T I and substituting in everything that we have we end up with the future value is equal to 1200 times 1 plus well T is 4 so it's 4 times I which is 0 0.075 okay now if we just do a number a small calculation here on our calculator I suppose let's work inside the brackets first of all 4 times 0 0.05 Zero seven five gives us a value of 0.3. So this becomes the future value is equal to 1200 zero zero times 1 plus 0 0.3. 1 plus 0 0.3 is 1.3, so our future value is 1200 zero zero times 1.3. So 1200 zero zero times 1.3 gives us a future value of our future value is. 1,560 euros, okay?
So that's one way we could calculate simple interest is by knowing what the present value or the principal value is, how many years the investment is made for and what the interest rate is. The only unknown out of our formula is FV, the future value. By substituting everything into our formula on the right hand side, we end up solving for the future value. Okay. Another calculation that we could do is to calculate what the interest rate was to accumulate a particular future value. So let's have a look at that calculation. So let's say a simple, a simple interest, interest calculation. Calculation. Okay. So let's say, let's write down a scenario. Well, let's write down our formula first of all. It's our future value is equal to our principal value times 1 plus t times i. Where pv represents the principal value, t represents the number of years that the principal value has been invested for, i represents the interest rate, and fv represents the future value of the account after t years. So let's assume that... Uh, an investment, an investment of let's say, let's let's stick with one thousand two hundred euros. Okay, one thousand two hundred euros. Yeah, accumulated, accumulated to let's say one thousand, let's say one thousand nine hundred euros. Okay, after let's say after three years. Okay. 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 So we have 1,200 euros was invested. It accumulated to 1,900 euros after three years. Okay. And let's say if interest, if interest was applied using a simple interest method, using a simple interest method. Okay. Well then, what was the interest rate? Okay, well then, what was the interest rate? That's our question. Okay, once again, from a formula perspective, all of our unknowns are FV, PV, T, and I. Let's substitute everything that we know into these particular space holders. Okay. So an investment of 1,200 euros accumulated to 1,900 euros. So I suppose our principal uh, was 1,200. And the future value of this account is 1,900. Okay. It was left in the account for three years. So t is equal to three. So the only piece of information that we're missing is i. So let's substitute all of these values into our formula. fv is equal to pv times 1 plus ti okay and let's substitute these in to give us fv is 1900 so we have 1900 is equal to pv which is 1200 times 1 plus t is 3 so that's times 3 i okay uh, i suppose we could do this a number of ways we could multiply out the brackets I suppose what we should do probably is we should probably divide across by 1200. So we have 1900 euros divided by 1200 is equal to 1200 times 1 plus 3i divided by 1200. Okay. And this 1200 here, 1200 divided into 1200 goes once. Uh, and so they basically cancel out. Okay, so we're left now with well 1,900 euros, 1,900 divided by 1,200, uh, gives us a value of 1.58 rounded to two decimal places. So what we know now is 1.58 has to be equal to 1 plus 3i. Okay, when we bring the one over to the left hand side of the equality sign, this becomes 1.58. Minus 1 has to be equal to 3i, okay? which gives us 0 0.58 must be equal to 3i. Okay? Uh, now what we can do is we can divide both sides by 3, so we end up with 0 0.58 divided by 3 must be equal to 3i divided by 3. Once again, the 3 into 3 goes once, once times i gives us i. 
So what we end up with is that i is equal to, well it's 0.58 divided by 3 gives us a value of 0 0.19 or the interest rate, the rate that we have is 19% interest. Okay. I know that was a little bit fast there, but maybe when you're going back through the video, you can you can pause the video at different at different moments, yeah, to try to uh, rationalize and understand the calculation. Uh, so there's many different ways we can we can we can frame this particular formula. Uh, in this example here, the unknown was the interest rate. We could do this again where you're given the future value, the principal value, you're given the interest rate, and you're asked how long was the investment made for to accumulate to a certain future value. Okay? Uh, so there's many different things that we could do here. Uh, you could be given the future value, you could be given the interest rate, you could be given the number of years, and what you're being asked is the unknown, which is the principal value. So once again, there's many different ways to use this formula uh, from a general calculation perspective. Okay guys, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that video uh, was helpful.